Okay. So hi everyone. Um welcome blessing. Planning to be starting a meeting officially. <laughs> so once again, I'll be ideal future holiday. All right. Um so blessing, do you mind telling us about yourself? So of course, my name is Kingsley. I am a brand identity slash product designer. I and um design tonight, yeah, at scales, right? And then Lamy. Um so Lamy Williams. Lamy is a product designer to an amazing designer. I right? also doing amazing stuff here at um chaos. Right, so like I I, I met Lamy in yeah, yeah, so Lamy it's like Lamy is an OG, and um yeah she'll be sharing more, um but I think she's dropping up so, uh, Lamy is there anything you want to tell blessing, just the intro then blessing can tell us about herself. Yes, um, as King to said, I'm a product designer and have mm -hmm. I've been sorry. Um, I've been I've been with Kia since twenty twenty two, same as King Fit. So I'm, I'm happy. This is the first time I'm seeing you, so I'm happy that we have a new joiner. Okay, so um so blessing over to you. Do you mind telling us about yourself and um what will you do? And how you got to join Chaos? Where did you hear about? Who told you about Chaos? And how did you finally decide to join us? Over to you. Hi, it's thank the time you very much. You're welcome. Um, I Kingsley, I am. So I'm blessing Cliff. Um, I'm also a product designer. Um, I learned about Chaos. I think I met. I learned about it through Kingsley. Indirectly, because I think um you spoke about it in um Figma. There was a conference Figma organized on Figma community thing. I think I joined the session and that was when I learned about um, open source that designers would contribute to open source through you. Because I've always had the notion that open source was for developers. So in a way, I think I followed you on Twitter. You left your Twitter and then I followed you and then. I saw the chaos um, thing from you. I started following chaos, but I never knew they had a Slack community. So I think there was one Twitter space they held last time, and I asked to join the community. That was when I got the Slack um, link to join. And I was like, OK, I've always wanted to know how designers could contribute to open source. Because since you said it then, I Honestly, didn't really check because I've always thought um open source was a developer thing using GitHub and all. So I was like, okay, let me try it out. And then that was when I joined the community. So I think that's it for me. Thank you. Wow, beautiful. Why am I blushing? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah, really good to have you blessing. And trust me. Um, you're really gonna enjoy chaos, right? So far, like Lamy said, Lamy and I we've been contributing to chaos since 2022, and I must really confess that open source really like has really impacted like my career positively. So you also have a lot of the stories to share, right? And stick around with us, and um, I'll still be sharing a couple of things, and um, also like an onboarding, right? So you get to learn a bit more about what chaos is and some of the projects we have ongoing and how you can jump in. Okay, let me no problem. We'll be waiting. Um hi Rhoda. Rhoda sounds familiar. Probably she changed up the her picture. Hi, Kingsley. Good morning. Good morning. Is it the same Rhoda or a new Rhoda? <laughs> it's the same Rhoda. Okay, Rhoda that is into user research, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm so sorry, I went. 
of yes i did <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. You know, we just take a break from time to time. Um, okay, so so thank you so much for joining in. I know today is public holiday, right? Well, uh Mrs. this happened to be inside, so we may not really spend a stretch of an hour though. So, um let me drop. Did I drop? Did I do that? Okay. Uh, so you see the link to a uh, minute, um, a meeting minute, right? Um, on the chart. Okay. So you can you can check it out. Add your name. I think there is a teaser right there. You can also reply. Okay, so um, just to help um, blessing, there's just joining for the first time. So chaos is community health and addictive open source software. You know, chaos is actually an acronym, so that's a full meaning: community health and uh, analytics open source software. All right. So where we what we do more in chaos is just around you know sustainability of open source projects, including. In, creating an inclusive open source ecosystem. So, and that cut across project that you can see as that reflects on project like of DI badging, right? Um, I will still share in detail, right? About our project, so DI badging, right? We have project badging. We also have project like Ogo, which is also ongoing. We also have here in Case Africa, we have Afos project. Some of these are just products being designed, right? So um, just as the name implies, community health, uh, emphasis is really around the health of open source communities. How can we come up with metrics, right? And um, solutions to help foster a more sustainable open source ecosystem, right? So everything we do here is a reflection of that. And um, we are open to ideas, right? And um, and also one important thing I also want to mention is that I probably would presume this is your first, just like you did mention anyways, this is your first attempt at contributing to an open source project. Um, yeah, things might look quiet, right, on Slack, right, in designer Slack, probably not bubbling as you would probably expect, you know, um, but yeah, this is open source, right, and um, you know, people kind of like jump in when they feel like, okay, maybe I'm free to do a thing or two and maybe you could take a break or stop, All right? So, but what will actually make um, your impact felt in the community and um, will always be your ability to identify things, issues besides the one um, uh, I'm gonna share, right? Besides the issues I will share, the ones that are open, but what will really make us feel your impact is your ability as a product designer, right? To to look at certain things, right? And um, okay, so so what will make us feel your uh your impact, like I said. And there will be your ability to, you know, come up with ideas, right? To improve on the products we have. Um, so for example, I'm sharing my screen. I don't know if you can see, if you all can see my screen, sorry. Yes, I can. Okay, so if you, so you see, the DI budget project, right? Like one of the amazing projects by Chaos, right? And um, this project is, um, yeah, of course, has founding partner being GitHub and GitLab is contributing partner. So Chaos DI budget initiative uh, is a Chaos project that awards badges to open source projects and events. These badges are used to showcase commitment to improving and supporting diversity, equity, and inclusion, right? 
So these badges we award after going through probably it could be event demographics or your project di.md file and a couple of other requirements that might sound. Don't worry, we don't have to bother about some of that technicality. Yeah, I'm sneezing, sorry, it's cool, yeah. So, um, yeah, so when we go through all these, we assign a badge, right? And this badge is a, reflect, a reflection of your the DEI commitment and all. So open source is vast, right? The only way you can have a sustainable ecosystem <laughs> is if that's inclusive enough for everyone that wants to take part in it. So recognizing <laughs> <laughs> cultures. I will fool. Hello, who is talking? Okay, so if you go through, let me share the link here in the chat. So if you go through the link, if you read through. I'm sorry, guys. So if you go through the link and uh, you spend your time, you'll be able to read, understand, understand what DI budgeting is and what we, um, what um, chaos is set out to achieve or accomplish, right? And um, so now this project that differently see how this thing is, this is when we're going to do the same design. Okay, so now as a project designer, if you also have for someone like um, I think this links back to Chaos website. Um, so now if you look at this, I think probably why why this is linked back to Chaos website is um if the initial idea was to have a centralized, these are two products under badging by Chaos, and we needed to create a separate platform that hosts this two guys. Or by extension, if you click on apply badge, you see it to take you, maybe if you choose events badging, it to take you to this page where you can see, you know, stuff about virtual or in-person events. I think um, same thing goes to project badging. So if you click on badge your projects, um, take you to, you either have to connect to, I think, GitLab or uh, GitLab, right? And then, you can go ahead to, you know, batch your project. This is actually for project maintainers and um, project maintainers and um, administrators, right? So where, where you come in as a designer on projects like this is, for example, how can we improve overall experience? What can we do better? You know, so when you propose stuff like that, it could be, oh, we've interacted with users and all that. Can we improve? Um, example could be, you know, maybe there could be a debate around uh, login with GitHub, apply for self-hosted project, uh, all buttons are the same hierarchy, right? You know, you know, you could explore, is it really right to read, kind of like use the same button and all that? It means if people use this, it means we can use all uh, all uh, dark thing, you know, and, you know, so things like this, right? You just look out for, there they're actually issues open to contribute to, right? But then again, you know, the products we have, we have to improve the experience, right? We have to optimize the experience. So this way, right, your impact is felt. You can, oh, probably I tested this product with the user, and then when the user saw the three buttons, he didn't really know about the picture of hierarchy, didn't know what to go for and all that, didn't better explain. So this is what um, I'm proposing, or this is what I think can make this whole thing better. And then documented feedback and maybe design ideas. This is what you're proposing. And then uh, we can get to fix that up, get in touch with the developer, and it's been fixed, right? So you've contributed to the project and you can talk about it. You can talk about the impact of that work, you know. So that's how to that's how to how to actually make impact on a project, right? So 
I'm saying that because, like I said earlier, a lot of persons join in and feel like things are quiet, nothing's going on, and then off they go, right? So, so I don't want you, I don't want us to miss you because, oh, maybe we're like, okay, there was nothing, nothing to be done. There's actually a whole lot that can be done, right? And um, and that's for that's for project badging. Um, let me see. Is this other? Give me a moment. I'm trying to pull. So our first project. Now this is one thing. Our first uh, the DI badging project. I just shared this line, right? And um, so a project like that, that's platform um, GitLab as in part. We have a platform, a couple of other open source projects, you know, potentially like millions of open source projects are going to be badged. For our event badging, we have over 100 plus projects already that have been badged, you know, actually got a DI uh, event badge from Chaos, right? So I think we have that information on GitHub. All right, so that platform is live. I think I shared the link, so you can also check it out. And any other inputs you can make eventually, you can still do that. Then um, these other projects, our first project, you know, it's also something I want to check out. Um, Felix here on the call has been one of the person, you know, instrumental to the success of our first, Sorry, because it's done. Please. Please you still sharing your screen? No, 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 no. But let me just pause it. Do you have a question? Do you have a question, you know? To ask? No, I didn't. I did not really know what projects. I thought you were sharing your screen and speaking to those projects. Okay, okay, okay. So I stopped sharing. Give me a moment. I'm trying to pull up this thing. That's it, yeah. mm. So, okay, so I was trying to say, um, okay, so I said another project we have on, uh, on yeah, another project we have on going. Actually, cool project too, and um, this project is live. Though most recently, I think um, we had a technical issue, so this project is live too, right? Now, as Africans, we also understand that. I know majorly on this call, just all Nigerians, but um, I, from time to time, we do have people from, like, you know, for example. Uh, Catherine working on this. Catherine is Kenyan. She's she's from Kenya. All right. So we have people from other African, you know, countries, you know, in chaos. So well, the idea behind this Afros project, African Open Source, was um a way to spotlight, you know, um open source projects in Africa. Um, I did mention for some of us that. Follows um GitHub Universe events. Uh, the last one they published a report, and um it was really amazing seeing uh, the work African um African developers right are doing, you know, in the open source ecosystem. And a uh, couple of projects featured like some projects on GitHub, you know, and some repositories, uh African open source related repositories, and so. So a platform like this is meant to spotlight open source projects. For some of us that know about Sh uh, Chakra UI, um, the creator of Shell, right? I, I think at the bio Shell, you know, and you know, of course, scales, you know about those things. These are just dummies anyways. But potentially, you know, I, I think someone <laughs> mentioned this Epo API. You know, these are like amazing projects out there. You know, people don't know about them, right? But one of the, remember, like I said initially, that CARES is focused on open source community health. So 
eventually how, what exactly can we do to help and sustain open source projects out there? So one of those things, for example, if we spotlight projects like this, people will go ahead to discover them on our platform, probably decide to either for an API, could decide to use the APIs, you know, and could even also want to either maybe invest or support the projects you get. But some of these projects are out there, you know, we don't know, right? We don't know about this project. You know, and then we talk about open source right in Africa, and a lot of people keep asking where can how do I find project? You know, so um platforms like this will actually help people learn more about open source projects in Africa, you know, and potentially also kind of like want to be a part of it. So now um this is just the landing page, the other pages. Why I'm actually taking our time to explain this is oftentimes it's actually through this you get to see the beauty in this project. And because one of the things I've also learned is that you really can't contribute to a project you don't understand. So you spend time to read, understand this project. Um, I don't know, we should have this thing. You should have those documentation on this meeting. Meeting minutes, please. Uh, you can add your sorry, James. You can add your this thing, um, name to the document, and um, also if you don't have access to this particular Figma workspace, so you can request your um, you can request, and I think I'll share that. So um. So yes, um, and another thing, all right, our first project has been on for a while. The MVP, I think like, some part of it is live, but the other part of the project that needs to be completed. So I know Maya is not here. Maya has took on the dashboard and she's been she's been on the admin dashboard. And um so if you also want to, you know, probably if that sounds exciting and um, you want to contribute to our first project, you, you might want to reach out to Maya and um, get to know. Okay, let me see. I think I'm seeing some work here. Um, so I think I'm seeing, I don't know about, I, I don't know what worked on this, but I think I am. So this is actually a admin dashboard. So the the idea, I don't know what worked on this, but I know it's probably, you know, still at the exploration stage or something. So um so the idea, for example, so if you check the the landing page I just shared, of course you see project displayed. For project to be displayed, it means it's either someone is posting it or kind of like uploading it. So, so um, we actually came up with an idea for project owners, maintainers to submit their projects. We will be used with Google Form and all that. So, and just a simple admin dashboard where we see project submitted, pending project, approved project, re rejected project, you know, and uh, yeah, so. Some of these things, like I said, you are the product designer, right? And um, so when you come on, like one beautiful thing about open source is, is that you have to own the project. Like when you come on a project, you have to push the initiative, explore, and it's, it's not like your regular work system where you're being micromanaged. So you have to also come up with ideas like, okay, this is how we can go about it. And then probably just discuss or share it on forums like this. Part of the reason we have this weekly polls is such that um, for some of the things we work on like this, we can bring them on board and then we talk about it, you know, just share ideas on how we can improve the experience. So um, I think I'll also post here, yeah, just in case someone wants to say something. Felix, you're here on the call. Oh, I can see Manuel. Rami is back. Hi, Manuel. Hold on, Serge. I'll stop on my screen. Um, Lami is back. 
I, I think um yeah so someone else will say something or I'll just give this moment to Lamy to you know talk about um um what her and her team are doing on Ogo and she might want to share a screen to on kind of like what was true. So um if you have questions you can ask blessing Rhoda, Felix if not we might just um share. Over to Lamy. Lamy, is your time to shine? Are you there? Okay. Okay, I'm trying to open Figma, but um, a brief of what's happening with Ogo is that we are designing, we are redesigning the current interface for Ogo. So Ogo is a tool by Chaos that acts as a repository of many open source projects and then gives information about those open source projects, information like how many contributors have participated in project from inception, what kind of um, contributions have been made, um, a general overview of the repository and so on. Um, so my screen is, my film is open now. So um, the current websites, has all of this information. So um, those things I, I talked about, the information are called visualizations and they, uh, they come in like charts, pie charts, bar charts, and they just show like a trend of different things surrounding the, a particular um, open source organization or open source projects. So what we're doing now is just doing a, a general redesign. Um, we've worked on how the home page could look like so this is like done but not this is like not the final stuff there's still room for changes and everything but um, the major thing that anyone would want to do on um, August website is to um, search for an organization you know that's to view the trends um, surrounding that organization and that's why we have the search bar centered on the screen and then for people who are new to um or God, they may want to like understand what um the project is about. So there's like this city for them to read all about it and see the different things they can do. They can log into Ogo, create group projects, and then there are definitions for terms that are used within the um within the tool. And then we have the visualization. So on the visualization page, there are like seven of them, seven groups, and they decide for you to like switch through different groups of visualizations or charts, and then just look through them. And then on each um chart, there's like information that you can find for you can customize it to view particular information that you're looking for. Um, so currently, Emmanuel and I are reviewing these three. So it, the people that are designing this are me and Emmanuel. We are currently, we have like three styles of design. I added this one yesterday. <laughs> Four. Um, so we just want to, we finished the M, M charts. We want to now work on the styling. And then afterwards, we're going to create like a style guide. Okay, I forgot to mention that this style is um um inspired by the style on the Virgin website, colors, font, and everything. So um we're thinking that it's good to like use that style for this project or go, and then maybe any other chaos project that might come up because it really like represents um chaos well at least in my eyes the colors are like very very good good use of colors and everything and the font also looks good so after we like settle on the styling that we're going to use here we're going to create a style guide and so that we don't so that it can be replicated yeah so that's what's ongoing now i think i'll go for the week or maybe for two weeks now is to work on the style here and then the style guide and then we'll move on to some other features that we've not yet started. That's all for me.
Wow. I, I'm just loving this chat. Sorry. I'm mm -hmm. really, really loving this chat. You know, so I recall the first time um, Ruth shared the old Ogo design and um, I was proposing, I was working on something. Um, well, what, what I'm seeing right here is like, it's actually really cool. I, I don't know about any other person, but like this is this is fire. So well done, um, Lamy and um Emmanuel for the amazing work. Like this is super cool. And um also Lamy, you also kind of like know how we do it, like big one trying to document it, you know. I, that's mm -hmm. one thing I like I really was pushing for, hoping to really push this year actually that we really get to do a lot of like good documentation on our design um processes other projects before now we're not doing so good stuff there because it's beyond just helping internally you know people jumping on and you know, externally you know and all that and this is open source you will not always be the one on the project all the time right it gives that flexibility for anybody to jump in and and all that so Please just try to document. And so blessing, yeah. So there's another project, right? You know, ongoing or go. So in this case, um, we do have situations like this where, like I said, you can decide to push the initiative for Afos project just the same way like Lamy is doing and Emmanuel. So Lamy has really been the one leading the overall project, is in charge of the overall project. So you can decide to take on Afos project and like, okay, I think um um Mide was doing that, but Mide is no more. But I, I'm seriously handing that one to over to Felix. So, <laughs> so I'm handing it over to Felix. So so um uh blessing, you might want to reach out to Felix to connect with Felix if you're interested in Afos project though. But it's so exciting that um 2022 we do we didn't have a project like um uh chaos uh badging project it the badging project wasn't live and of course even the event badging project wasn't live but between 2022 date we executed uh the i badging project the project is live like it up uh gitlab you know i think it was badge right you know via the uh, chaos badging a uh, project and that's a big win and then we have several other projects, open source projects, you know, going through the badging process. That's a big win. And also for a project like Ogo, you could think of the fact that millions of open source, like the last I checked, literally, I don't know the specific number, but we have millions of open source projects on GitHub. Right. So this is great. It's a very big, you know, space for a tool like Ogo to, to thrive, right? Project maintainers, administrators are busy. You know, most times they can't really go to GitHub to really track some of these metrics and anal uh, analytics. So, so a tool like Ogo comes in to fill in that gap, right? And just one place where you can get all this feedback through the uh, chats and all that. So you see the impact. It also translates to what I said initially that what chaos is just focused on is about sustainability you know health of open source you know ecosystem so this ogo project right is also a big reflection of that understand so imagine also working on a project like ogo you can of course talk about the impact of your work right ogo and how this has really impacted you know a couple of other open source projects out there so these are some of the projects we have. So if you want to contribute to Ogo, you can reach out to Lamy or you can connect with me, but you reach out to Lamy since you're here on the call directly or you speak with Emmanuel. And um, so if you are interested with Afos, you reach out to Felix. If you still want to contribute to the budget project that is live, I think you can connect with me, right? I, I also was really involved in the Badging, um, the badging project. So if you want to contribute to the badging project, you can also reach out to me. I think we have that design on a different workspace. 
So um, I don't know if anybody has question, contribution, feedback. And one last thing too is that uh, besides the design, one other thing too we really want to do this year, right, is to also improve on our style, our design style, like our style guide, our design system, right? So if you also want to contribute to that, um, learning games at the center of that, you know, um, I know I'm also going to be contributing to that anyways. So, but if you are big on design system and, you know, you have a lot of ideas to share around that and how we can, you know, improve, like you can literally just work on any components you could think of, right? And around, just imagine the work Manuel and Lamy are doing on this thing. Imagine we had all these components created out. So you need them. And trust me, like you're creating components that, you know, a local person is going to be using after now. And it's just, open source is also beautiful. So, um, so if you want to contribute on to that, you know, um, let me, I think you have to make that open and available. Let's see how, you know, and maybe some of the components you can start looking at, you know, creating. And um, let's see how that goes, right? Yeah. So... And yeah. um, one thing we have like this um page, I call yeah. it I call it the readme yeah. that has a project overview, and then there's a link to the design notes. So yeah. this one was created when the project just started, but came out. Remember now to update it. So if you want to read about it, you can also do that. Beautiful. So um, you can share the link to this. So oh, no. Um okay, besides just sharing the link, please just add the link to uh this thing. Add it to the design mixing, please. So it will always be easy to make reference to it. So nobody can put it up there. Okay. okay. So okay, so you can add I think both the Figma link and uh, probably the Figma link from there they can access the document. But if you also want to add the document link to the doc uh, to them it's in minutes, it's fine. Okay, so um, thank you. I've been the one talking. So, <laughs> um, Felix has been quiet. Rosa, you want to? Do you guys want to say hi or say something? Blessing is there anything that sounds confusing, or you probably regretting your decision or journey case already. <laughs> I want to leave. Um. You can just say anything out of mind. Yeah. Okay. Well, like... Thank you for the like overview. But I have a question, please. Like, if you want to contribute, is it like we are um how do I put it? Is it like um we are time bound to working on the task? Because considering mm -hmm. that you know sometimes we might have other engagements that in a way you might not be able to like so is it like is a time bound stuff that you need to have a deadline to working on it something like that okay that's a very good question and um okay i'll i'll want to mention that um so open source is a marathon not the sprints right so um most of this project um yeah, you just have to, you know, the project, the tax are there, right? And you're like, okay, you check your schedule, right? And um, what favors you, and then you work on it, right? You work on the project. However, you know, um, that's also, you also have to be like conscious of the part that, okay, it's open source and some of this project that actually some, for example, the DI, um, when we started um, the project badging, it, it wasn't sort of like open to everyone because it was time bound, right? And we didn't want a situation where the chaos board didn't want to kind of like keep it for a longer time. So so I think that was revolved more around a contract, right? And sometimes when the community wants, you know, uh, something done immediately sometimes it could go as far as you know actually paying for that to be executed you know but then every other project you know i just mentioned here you know probably just follow the normal course of time execution 
and all that. But for someone that really wants to make an impact on a project, it's really not cool that you pick up a tax to work on and then like three months, four months, you are not even seeing anything, right? And even if like it's not time bound, all right, you also know that even for a personal, even if you're working on a personal project, say case study, and like three months, you've not even looked at it, you've not, like, man, just forget about it. I'm not sure you're going to get anything done, all right? So when you bring that, you know, um, that mentality into what we do here, right, you just realize that, you know, you get committed to, to it. However, you know, your schedule sometimes, you just make out time for it. But, you know, you don't really have to be scared that <laughs> I'll be going after you. Come on, have you done this? No, no, no. Uh, you leave that for your working system, right? Like your regular work structure. But again, you know, fellas, right? Well, my just message also, you know, on calls like this, you can share, you know, feedback on what you've been able to do. But basically just kind of like working with a timeline that favors you. Right. When you're free, you know, you don't kind of like overburden yourself with the work. Right. Just take your time and do a good work. So yeah. It's not um it's not a sprint, so you don't have to worry. I don't know if I answered your question, blessing. Yes, please, you did. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I am seriously looking forward to like seeing the amazing work you'll be joining Lamy, Manuel, Felix, Rhoda, you know, and every one of us here to do and the impact of your work, you know. So I'm looking, really looking forward to that. So thank you so much. Um personally, I think I am okay. Um so e this I'm also putting this out again, right? So if there's any also anyone here that I know most of us are product designers, but if there's anyone here, you know, who cool, good with visual design, branding and stuff, yeah, you can also reach out. All right. So chaos corn is coming up and um not sure of the dates yet right now, but then that's also a good thing. It gives enough time to also work towards it and create some very colorful visuals for the event. So thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'm also opening up once again. Do you have anything to say? Contribution, feedback. How can we make the design working group much more active? you know, I'm getting people involved. These are also questions in my mind. So if ever you have answers to that, always open, we can talk about it. Okay. Uh, okay, sorry. Just a little thing I, I just want to mention. Um, I wanted to just give kudos to Lamy because um, that stuff she did on um, Argos is really massive. So, and I already kind of, we already had a discussion this week. So because of my transit and everything, I'm not being active. So, but I think I just, we just need to upload uh, what she has done. It's really massive. And um, hopefully we're able to cook up a style guide that's at large at chaos, even at more than Argos, we're able to all use together. So just want to mention that. And we are um, excited to have Blessing join. Yeah, thank you so much, Emmanuel. I think we have to create an award at the end of the year, and Lamy is going to be taking the award. Seriously, I don't care what any other person thinks. <laughs> well, yeah, thank you. I think that also kind of like confirms it. Like, Lamy is doing super amazing work, right? Lamy is doing super amazing work, and I, I'm always somehow also afraid of that Lamy doesn't, you know leave like ah oh, I can't reach Lamy like but it's okay thank you so much Lamy for the amazing what you're doing you know thank you so much thank you Manuel too for the support and you know the work on Ogo like I'm so so loving I'm also tempted to jump on it but let's see how that goes <laughs> so um I have to reach out to Lamy for that but it's all good thank you so much thank you everyone thank you for the time you know, joining in and um, 
for those who are celebrating the holiday. Yeah, I wish we a beautiful celebration and um look forward to seeing us on the next.